Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today it's going to be the 5,000 subscriber special. It's basically going to involve us going into wormholes with a rattlesnake. We're going to do it, use a solar rattlesnake to do some wormhole sites. This is extremely risky because I'm just going to do this by myself, no alts. So it is very easy for someone to drop me, but I have done this before many years ago. And it was a pretty like scary but fun experience. So I think it would be good to show it to you guys as well on this special location. I really appreciate that you guys subscribed. I mean, I would have never, ever expected to get this far. But here I am, 5,000 subscribers, 5,000 people have cl clicked the subscribe button. But to be honest, the thing I'm even more impressed with is how much watch time people have been. Like, the amount of hours people watch and listen to my voice is just absolutely crazy it's absolutely crazy it just keeps increasing increasing every day so i just want to say that i really appreciate that you guys watch the stuff and i am pretty uh, pretty happy and impressed that people do like it the way that they do that it's getting as much attention as it does so i really appreciate that you guys like to watch the videos <laughs> okay so another thing to celebrate 5,000 subscribers for each thousand subscriber that I've got, we're going to give away a skin. So that means five skins are going to be given away. And that is namely five of the Vexel Scope Syndication skins. So the special skin that many evil line creators have been given is this Vexel Scope Syndication skin. So if you want to be in this giveaway, the way you do it is subscribe to the channel, say your in-game name and say that you want to be in the giveaway. Uh, it's important that you put your real in-game name because I have to be able to contract this to you in-game. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you say you want to be in the giveaway, and make sure you put your real in-game name so that I can contract you the skin. Alright, so five of these guys are going to be given away. One for each thousand of subscribers I've got. Uh, so I've noticed that not a whole lot of people do comment, so it's not like it's a one in a thousand chance that you'll get the skin. It's a lot higher than that. But... Either way, let's get prepared because I have not fully prepared myself and I want to prepare myself for this little, for this little journey we're going to take now into the abyss. Or well, not really the abyss, but it is kind of the abyss sort of because Wormhole well, Space is like a deep depth, like the deep depths of the universe, deep into the depths of Wormhole Space. So we've got this ship right here, the Turbo Snake. It's the ship I often use for... Uh, doing events but here we're going to be using it for the uh, wormhole ratting and I'm going to do it in a C3 wormhole that I have scanned down uh, I hope I won't get dropped but if I do get dropped well we'll have some flashy explosions it'll be fun to watch that okay <laughs> otherwise I want to see if I can at least do one site without dying that'll be pretty cool so I'm just putting these drones in here because I didn't think it would be really necessary to put a really expensive gecko right there and something I wanted to do here was I've got a bunch of these modules here I could refit if I ever wanted to. But something I don't have is a core probe launcher, which I should have. Core probe launcher, core probe launcher. There we go. And we put a core scanner probe. Scanner probe. 16 of these guys. There we go. Okay, let's go and venture into this wormhole. Uh, this wormhole then is pretty a pretty quiet system it seems like i mean not really quiet but there is some activity going on you see there's a bit of a spacing in between activity but there is some activity going on so it's not like it's completely dead there's still some activity just not like extremely extremely busy and something i need to do in fact that i forgot right here is that i have not got a target painter for some reason which i should have because i do not want to have this mwd because I don't want to have the MWD. I think the MWD in these wormhole sites is not really going to be too necessary. Because uh, in these wormhole sites, you're often going to be webbed a lot. And I don't I don't really see any point in moving. It's just going to be fast if I have a target painter. So I'm going to get that real quick. And in fact, I just realized I completely not fit the right fit. Like um, I had made a fit specifically for this wormhole adventure. But I had not attached it. So it is good that I <laughs> noticed that. So if I would have gone in now, I would have been new to death because you can see our capacity is really crap. So I got this here, yeah, C3 Turbo Snake. We'll just equip this. There we go. Give me that. There we go. So you see we've got a very big capacitor right there. Pretty pretty spicy. We've got this grappler as well to help a little bit. It's overall going to be 
uh, a lot better i think than the previous file i was using because that previous file i was using now was more for events it was not it's going to be a bit tougher i think in the wormholes uh, as i said before i've not done a whole lot of these in a long time i have done this uh, like once or twice before a long time ago in 2018 but i'm not at all experienced with doing the wormhole site so be prepared to see some mistakes There's some eventual mistakes it is very possible that it will occur uh it's like I'm, I'm not at all used to doing these sites i've just looked up them a little bit on eve survival but i can't just remember them like that so i've just saw that i should be able to survive the newts i should be able to survive the dps without any big issues and i do not want to have my gecko oh my god like, you know what we're going in with the gecko we're going in with the gecko yeah we're going in with the gecko some people try to attack us at least we've got a gecko to help us <laughs> going to this c2 wormhole here because the way this wormhole i've scanned down it's basically like a c2 and it has a c3 that attaches to it so it's a pretty simple journey only three jumps out from jason very chill and then only two jumps more in the wormhole systems itself but we're going to see if we can do some sites so here there's all these different sites like solar cell or ruse construct these kind of things i've seen a solar cell i saw quite a few of these last time i was in that c3 so i think this is possibly something we'll be running we'll see it's not particularly the hard you see here just like a few cruisers a few battleships a few frigates not too much no nothing like too crazy it seems like uh, i did this with a little bit of a story is that i did this a long time ago in 2018 just because i felt like okay i'm just gonna randomly just go in a wormhole and uh grab a few sites and earn a little bit of isk i think i earned like 50 million isk or something like that per site that's pretty good pretty good isk um the risk though i think is way too high i was just lucky i never encountered anyone but i could easily easily get killed someone easily could use a cloaking ship and just take me out real quick they could just uncloak and kill me uh, now obviously the rattlesnake is a powerful ship but uh, it's still i could imagine there's going to be gangs of wormhole pilots these nano gangs those elite pvp nano gangs those guys are going to slap me up real good they're gonna they're, i'm gonna fall straight away they're probably to destroy my shields before i can even get one of these damn cycles off <laughs> um so Anyway, I did these sites and it went really well. I got some good isk and didn't encounter any troubles really, but it was very scary, very scary indeed. In fact, something that I remember a lot from this during, it was, I can remember it particularly to October of 2018. And the reason is because during October, 2018, that was when PewDiePie released a series of this amnesia game. Um, and it was like a, a replay because he had done it he apparently played it many many years ago but I, this was like the first time i saw this video series and i thought it was very fun and very interesting it's a horror game and it's obviously like got you know like, it's a very like uh, scary environment so i thought that okay i'm gonna do something also scary but in eve online and i did just decide to do this shortly afterwards uh it was just the like the ambience from that game was almost like ringing in my head because it was just so spooky <laughs> going into this wormhole space knowing that anywhere anytime anywhere someone could just jump out on me and just wreck my face so hard uh so it was it, it was it was pretty fun it's just i feel like there was a lot of too much risk on the line i was using a very different fit so it could be possible that i'll just die instantly here i mean you don't know i mean it could be just that my vessel just pops the second it goes into the wormhole side the newts are too strong I think the newts shouldn't be any issue though. And the reason I don't think the newts should be any issue is because we have two cat batteries. You see here, two cat batteries and a lot of capacitor spare and an extra large shield booster that can be always pulsed if we ever need to. See that without it on, 115 gigajoules. I think that that would be plenty. And if I really, 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 really need capacitor, I can use my mobile depot, put some capacitor flux coils on, and we should have no problems. But I want to have a bit of DPS to be able to, you know, get the site done a little bit quicker. You know, got these drone damage amplifiers going on right here. A little bit of extra DPS is always nice to have. Okay, let's see if we get camped right here. Oh, we didn't get camped. Okay. Entry to C3. Let's go. Got the gecko. Gecko. He's going to go and wreck these sleepers. Sleepers, man. They're, they're very spooky. The low behind them is very spooky. 
They're like the Jovians who've died off a long time ago, a separate species of human civilization who's died due to disease, and they've manifested their consciousness into these like drones. So they essentially the drones have got like programs of consciousness of these extinct uh, civilization of humans very spooky and that's all what remains left because you know the drones obviously not all the robots are obviously not going to be affected by this disease that um that affected the jove or the sleepers who existed before these uh, or the creators of these drones let's go in here and let's see what sites we have increase the size of our d-scan a little bit Okay, we had a Tech 1 Explorer right there, but we'll just go straight in, do one of these solar cells. Um, I started doing EVE Online a long time ago, right, in 2015-16. I mean, for some people, that is not a long time ago. They played in like 2006-07. But back then, uh, I met a few guys in Wormhole Corp at one point, and they mentioned that a lot of the salvage you can get from these wormhole sites is really worth it and it definitely is or i hope it still is i mean the market's gone up and down up and down all over the place since the last time i did stuff in the wormhole site so it could in, in fact be completely worthless but i think that the salvage is still worth quite a bit in these wormhole sites like it's really 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 like it, some good stuff to be had here here by salvaging these guys okay let's see so you can maybe move a little bit here i don't want to i don't want to base camp up directly in the uh, warping point that maybe is not the smartest thing to do okay let's uh we'll move a little bit to the side and then we'll put our mobile attractor unit and we'll put our uh mobile, mobile depot let's take out this guy like this is reminds me so much of the abyss because it's the exact same model as the you know the one from the abyss the npc sleep model and they're so easy but these guys are a lot harder oh no they're not that hard he died so quickly oh I, i'm just worried a bit because my gecko is pretty far out i don't want him to don't want him to get you know wrecked and he gets caught he gets webbed and scrammed by some enemy, enemy npc it's not going to be a good time and why is the range yeah i don't want to get no, my range is going to be too too far that is 43 kilometers it's all good it's these guys dying very quickly it's good good it's very simple a lot easier than i remember though one thing i have to uh, say is that this time the time when i was doing uh this like site in 2018 i think i was an alpha clone or if i was an omega clone i can't remember now but i think i was an alpha clone and if i was an omega clone i yeah, actually i was an omega clone but i was a very low skilled omega clone like i was very 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 minimal skills so i did, was did a lot worse than this and the fit i was using before was a passive shield tank and it had no damage modules at all just full passive this is much better honestly you get you see my capacity is so good even though i've got active tank i've got more dps more effect more tank per second overall just better in every kind of way with this active tank going on right here so it's just really nice really nice to go with this active tank and you can see here i'm not really moving at all so what i'm going to do here is just deploy these guys because uh if someone ganks us then i guess we're gonna have to try to fight back as best as we can but i honestly i don't think a lot of stuff is gonna come out of that <laughs> we're probably just gonna try attack someone but everything misses our drones will probably just miss our missiles will probably just not apply anything because i mean we've got rapid heavies they should be able to apply pretty well but you know it's just the way it works when you're elite pvp nothing can hit you nothing can hit you when you're in the elite pvp uh, did i bookmark this and uh, just bookmark this you know mm -hmm. so we've got these awakened defenders right here around me a lot they there's like the way those watchmen in the abyss die pretty quickly as well i'm surprised these guys dying a lot quicker than i remember i remember them being pretty difficult but they're a lot easier than i remember before uh, all the isk you get here is from the blue loot or the majority of the isk is this stuff you get here you see this so you just grab this and put this in here so you don't have any bounty ticks or anything like that it just uh, goes straight in here all these sleepers they drop that and the most you get is from the battleships it's uh, you can sell these uh, concourse doors you, it, it reminds me a lot of the uh the triglavian survey data you know that kind of stuff you can get from killing triglavians uh, or in the abyss at least uh that stuff can self-acquire a lot same thing here with instead of 
the red stuff, you have the blue, blue stuff here. You know, blue stuff in wormholes, just the way it is. They like the blue loot in the wormholes. That's what people call people call this blue loot. <laughs> uh, you can get quite a significant amount from the battleships um and then also the salvage on top will give me quite a big hefty amount of isk i think i'll get 30 million something like that from one of these sites so i think that would be a pretty decent isk power i think it is maybe 100 million isk power so honestly it's not particularly good i could to be honest maybe i would have even been off better off just doing higher tier one whole size like c4 maybe but i know i just wanted to just to do a little bit of c3 you know it's the seems pretty easy pretty simple oh there we go we got battleships now battleships let's take out the cruisers first because they seem pretty annoying little smug cruisers and they look very interesting that model right there you don't see this model in the abyss it looks like this kind of model looks a bit more menacing or like kind of ancient looking the way it's shaped with this sort of v shape i think it looks a little more ancient shape i should be descanning more often than i am doing right now 10 million you know getting the isk the isk is coming in the isk is rolling in and these big battleships right here are gonna drop a lot more a lot more trust me it's gonna be a lot more <laughs> let's see i cannot salvage unfortunately i don't have my salvager and this is something that i really probably shouldn't have done i probably shouldn't have shouldn't have gone with this drawing link augment here do i have a salvager in here that i could refit oh no unfortunately i thought i would have maybe had a salvager by them let's see now is there anything good i could put here maybe no, and there's no salvager. Uh, this drone link augment, I thought it would be useful because I was looking on the Eve uh, wiki page and it said that some of these guys here, these battleships, in fact, try to orbit at uh, like 60 kilometers. So I thought, okay, uh, my drone control range without drone link augment is this 60. And I prefer to not keep it such a borderline. So I'd want to, you know, amp up the drone range a little bit. But, you know, it, is, it didn't seem to be too doesn't at all seem to be necessary right here but maybe it could be a different spawn that is a bit different in the way it works i should be putting a bit of uh, these application modules here just to boost stuff up a bit even though these are very slow battleships shouldn't be able to do anything to me but you know it's always good to have a little bit of that a little bit of that extra isk a little bit of that extra speed in your clearing even though if it's minute nothing seen so far a good sign a good sign look at that you just get some isks just like that seven mil you know you get a lot of blue loot this is uh there's a meme where wormholes are known for being very very uh rich and it's also something that i've seen that people have been saying that oh in in wormhole space people don't care about the isk efficiency of your ships they just bling the crap out of their ships what people most care about in wormhole space is the like mass efficiency because when you go through wormholes there's certain mass required and if enough mass goes through a wormhole then uh, it'll collapse so people think about apparent this is just a meme i think but people say that oh i think more about mass than the cost of my ship i think it has to do with the people in wormhole space earn a lot of dank yes because i mean this is a c3 okay if we're gonna see a five oof so much more than this so much more than this and i see a lot of people tell me in the comment section below oh you're doing this stuff now it's like you earn so much more in c5 and well, how that may be true i prefer much more the relative safety of high sec or the relaxing nature of a high sec you know here a little scrubby stratios could just uncloak here and then have a bunch of his gang mates warp in on me that will not be a good experience right there <laughs> well this guy seems to be trying to kite this little scrub tries seems to be trying to kite at least so okay i guess it was right to some extent maybe approach him hmm and I'll go away from these mobile depots and mobile tracking. Yeah, that's going to be annoying. I'll just empty this one clip here of heavy missiles because when this this is the only thing that's really the range limiter, I, my drones can follow him really far. He's running away like a little scrub. <laughs> little scrub. My turbo snake has gone through a lot of things. I wonder if he'll come out alive. He's gone through lots of events. Hmm. So, you know, you got these, sometimes you've got these ships that have just been through a lot, you know. Have you guys also got that? Like ships that you've done so many epic things, like being in big battles, ratted so much, and it's still, that very ship is still alive today. Like, that's all a little bit what I feel of this turbo stake if it survives today. Like, it's been through a lot of events. I've done missions, I think, in this. I've done a lot of these, you know, live events like Blood Raiders, the Sancha, 
all these kind of events. Oh, this will go th be gone through a lot. This ship right here, if it does survive this little wormhole adventure today. Okay, they're popped. Okay, so let's grab as the anomaly being finished now. I think it'll soon go away. Okay, but what I'm going to do now maybe is start salvaging these guys. Because we want to get this good salvage. You can get the good salvage from these guys. Earn some nice isk. Can you see that? 12 million isk just from that one balance ship. I think it was right there. But that's a lot of isk. A lot of isk indeed. And we're going to get more from that guy probably as well. So another 12 million or something like that. Okay, let's assign these drones. You know, I want to get a bit of a spread on the salvage going on right here. I want to spread them out a little bit. I wonder if it would be fun to just go with a Marauder, you know, just YOLO with a Marauder. Because one of the benefits of a Marauder apparently is that they're hard to scan down, so it would maybe be a little safer in some ways. Then again, I mean, no, seriously, now, if someone sees a Marauder, a gang sees a Marauder on the D scan, they're just going to swarm like crazy on you. No, they're going to call all their backup, all their cops. Marauder, Marauder, let's get him, let's get him. <laughs> okay, let's see that. I want to get 9 million there. It was not as much. But maybe that nah, 12 million included also a cruise or something like that. So let's see now. We've got 43 million here. And this is only the blue loot. So we're going to see if we can get a little bit more isk from these uh, wreckages right here as well. These wreckages could potentially give in some good loot. Uh, yeah, at least did last time. But maybe it could be changed with salvage prices going all over the place. Especially with all this trig love stuff. I can see all the salvages fl fluctuating quite a bit. Let's see, this is the drone AI is worth a lot. Uh, these items here, they're worth a very large sum of money. Now, it doesn't seem like my salvages are working. Salvage drones are working. And I have a feeling that they won't work. I have a feeling they won't work. Um, the reason is because now I have a faint memory of the last time I did this. I was not able to salvage these guys. And I do think I need a tech 2 salvager. Um, I think maybe you could get by if you had a tech 1 salvager with good skills. But I don't have particularly good skills. I think I do need a tech 2 salvager to decently salvage these guys. And I don't think I can do that. At least with salvage drones. Because salvage drones it didn't seem like they were doing anything right there. They usually at least one of them would have salvaged something by now. Well, we can do another site, at least uh, the last site for today, you know what I mean? There's a lot of sites in here. Like, the amount of sites you see in a system often is like, oh, there are sites, let's clear the wormhole of sites, because it's like something that's quite hard to come by, apparently. Uh, or at least that's what I've heard from some wormholes. They're like, when they see a system full of anomalies, like, this is a good thing. And they're like, oh, yes, let's just clear the whole system. But, I mean, they're not so many anomalies because you've got these more and other sites here. I don't think they're as good as this combat anomalies. Either way. Okay, we've got maybe... Is this a full clip? I think this is a full clip. Let's see now. Is this full? Or do I have any Inferno left? Let's see. Yeah, I do have a bit of Inferno left. Okay. We'll make our way towards this guy over here. And we'll then take our gecko and start shooting these guys. These Argoses, I think they do do quite a bit of damage, but you see that just really doesn't care to what rattlesnake to be honest. Let's see, have I got a shield boost amplifier here? No, I've not even got a shield boost amplifier. Okay, let's go for this sleepless defender. I reckon the gecko is gonna go on the case. Maybe I can start shooting with my uh, my rapid heavies in the meantime. It's apparently a not a lot, a lot of. It doesn't seem like there are a lot, a lot of uh, frigates in this site here. I was just reading on the Eve Uni, so it seems like this is going to be a pretty straightforward site. But maybe it'll take a long time to get through because look how tanky this guy is. Really, like look how tanky this guy is. He's not taking hardly any damage. And my gecko, what the heck is my gecko doing? He's too too slow. Gecko, hello, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Gecko, come on, why are you being so slow? Oh, there we go, now he's shooting. <laughs> Look at the Gecko is being kited by this guy. Right. Oh, he's being webified. I see. That's. But wait, he's being webified by who, though? Who is this guy being webified by? Can we be attacked now because he's getting a bit of speed? Maybe now he can start attacking? Hey, we still got a hit there. It was smashing shot. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Now we're starting to do damage. Nice. Okay. Make our way towards this region of the space. We tank so good. It's alright. We don't need to bother with these silly sentries right here. We're gonna deploy the mobile depot. Mobile tractor unit. I got scared for that for a second because I saw something extra jump up in my UI. 
thought maybe it was a uh, something decloaked <laughs> whatever <laughs> okay let's see are we doing any damage yeah we are doing some damage okay good oh whoa. okay there we go there we go wrecked let's grab in the loot let's grab in the loot this is apparently called wormhole day tripping where you spend a day in just wormholes just go around and grab some sites i've seen some people do that on youtube but it doesn't seem like a lot a whole lot of people do it just because of how it's pretty dangerous and you have to have foot to do it safely you need to have alts to keep an eye on wormholes to be able to you know see potential predators out there to get you and even then it seems pretty risky because someone could just come in you know maybe be cloaked or something like that you would never even know generally speaking i don't i'm not a big fan of multi-boxing stuff i it's just i've tried it's not a uh, not a fun experience it's just too much micromanagement and honestly i feel like it breaks the immersion as well because one of the things i like about evil Online is that it's a pretty immersive experience it's a very like graphically good game and it has some like, very stunning visuals and sounds but when you have multiple clients open then you have to kind of remove that there's it's not going to be like, any reason to have them on because can't really engage in all of them and uh, it is you can't really look at everything properly when everything's in a small screen you, know, you have to tab out and in all the time just i i'm not a big fan of multi-boxing maybe i will in the future sometime but it's just too much micromanagement breaks the immersion and generally speaking i think and you have to pay obviously more for having omega good omega accounts you know it's just not my thing not my thing Unfortunately, it does limit me because a lot of things in Evil Line do require multiple accounts. Like in Nullsec, people you go around using like these uh, like dread alts and capital ship alts, like all these kind of alts that have all these various different functions. Because apparently, it's, it's not good to have your capital ships skills on your main because um, often like these cap. This is what I how I understand, but many of these capital ship pilots they like they have to wait a long time for action to happen so often they'll just be sitting in a station waiting on their fleet to get a sino and in the meantime you'd probably want to have your main doing stuff in a sub capital while your capital ship pilot just waits there for them to be able to jump in and if you had everything on one character with the capital ship you would be sitting there in a station doing absolutely nothing so it makes a lot of sense in that case to have a uh, alt you know if you want to do other stuff in the meantime I feel like the speed of us killing this stuff is about the same speed as I kill Gila's or, or, or kill the sleepers with the Gila in the Abyss. Uh, I think that, I don't think it's like particularly faster to be honest, I don't. it feels about the same. Um, I would have expected it to be quite a bit faster because you know we're almost doing double the amount of DPS as my, uh, my, my Gila would do in the Abyss but you know it's that's what you get sometimes that's what you get i feel like this uh grappler is completely unnecessary like absolutely nothing i'm doing with this grappler uh or hardly anything it will be very useful for these tiny little frigates you know oh we're taking a bit of damage right here um i don't think it's going to be too bad we can always refit if we need to but i don't think it will be necessary see that we're hovering at 75 percent it's good and we're also obviously going to take out enemy ships as well so it's going to reduce the incoming dps by quite a lot too Especially when one of those battleships are gone, because that's where the majority of the DPS is coming from. Hmm. Maybe we could refit one little thing here. Put a... Instead of this, put a shield boost amplifier. There we go. So yeah, now we're going to boost a bit more. So that should be enough, to be honest. Oh, if it's not enough. Is it not enough? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it is enough, or is it? Now uh, we're going. I think we're stabilizing now. It's good. I just need to take out one of these battleships, which my gecko seems to have a bit of a hard time taking out by itself. Oh, okay. Yep. We need to switch out the modules right here. Remove this cat battery. Put a shield boost amplifier. Ah, not enough CPU. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. What do I do? Uh, let's see now. We can remove that remove a ballistic control system but our, our capacitor is pretty good yeah our shields are good look we will almost kill this guy as well and we've got the missiles too they'll make everything a lot faster 
you know, this whole time here I was messing around, I could have potentially lost my ship there for someone just coming in and not paying attention to D-scan. Always important to check a D-scan. Something I'm really not too acquainted with, to be honest. Even with the shield boost amplifier and the uh, one battleship down, I'm still having a bit of problems with the shields, but it's all right. Not too, not too bad. It's pretty good. Uh, I can obviously increase it more. If I wanted to put the shield boost amplifiers, replacing some of these with flux coils, it'll be all good then. I've not got a whole lot of neutering pressure. I thought there would have been a lot more neutering pressure. Um, doesn't seem at all to be that bad, to be honest. Uh, I was expecting a lot more neutering pressure. But then again, I mean, we have got two cam batteries, 30 gigajoules to spare. I mean, and we can always pulse this if we really wanted to. So it's not like we have a weak capacitor or anything. We have a boss capacitor, an absolute boss capacitor. So we should be able to get through most stuff, to be honest. Sleepless defender. You know, I think a lot that these sleep guys, they, they, they don't sleep a lot. These guys, oh, oof, 30 mil is just like that. Like these uh, these guys, these sleepers, they need to sleep a little bit because they sleepless defender. They're sitting there all day guarding these posts, you know. They maybe need a little bit of rest, these sleepers. <laughs> uh, I feel maybe a little bit sorry for them. <laughs> okay, so this is the last wave, I believe. We've just got a bunch of these now. Frigus is to kill. There's nothing more after this, I believe. We'll take out... This shield boost amplifier, put a grappler to help stuff up a little bit, and put a grappler, it'll make them go very slow, these guys. We'll have our Gurkho demolish them with this good tracking. Look at that, just slapping that. Oh, that's so good. I maybe even should have taken them out first because it would have been easy DPS off the grid since they die very quickly, these guys. Look, look how fast they're going. Gurkho is having no problems whatsoever hitting them. And it's doing a lot of damage too. Mm hmm. Okay, has it brought in that large wreck? Yeah, I think it has. Yep, it was just a case of taking out these uh, frigates right here. There we go. And a lot of damage from those Argoses. So I could have also taken them out if I wanted to reduce DPS, but it would have taken a long time. I read on the EV Uni that they have a lot of EHP in those sentries right there. So this would have wasted a lot of time. And I don't, I didn't really need to either. Let's just wait a little bit until we have you know, got all these loots pulled in. Rex. Remove the location. We've got any scrubs. No scrubs here. It would have been unfortunate if it happened now because my mobile depot has been re re retrieved. I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited for retrieve my mobile depot to the very end. But now we'll go back to the safety of high sec. Oof. A little bit of a scary trip right here, but luckily we didn't see anything just like it was in the old days. Uh, back in 2018 when I did this a long time ago. Well, unfortunately, no salvage to be had. But maybe I could have improved on that by bringing a uh, Tech 2 salvager. Or alternatively, I could have just bookmarked all these sites and come back in like a ship. Because I think that was in fact what I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what I did was... When I uh, did these sites in 2018, I came back in a cheap destroyer with good salvages and I was able to salvage it. So I think that's what I did and I think it worked out pretty well and I did get a salvage because I do remember getting salvaged somehow. It just did, it reminds me, it comes to me very, uh, like a very fond memory that I was not able to get it with the rattlesnake. I had to use something else to get it. So it makes a lot of sense, makes a lot of sense because this stuff you find in wormholes, generally speaking, is pretty advanced. The wreck's advanced and it's hard to, you know, loot everything. It's not something... The technological level of sleepers is pretty high, to be honest. They've got, they're known for having like, oh, sleeper technology. If you, if you, uh, like in many lore items in EVE Online, oh, this secret sleeper technology enabled us to do this and this. So generally speaking, they have pretty good technology, the sleeper guys. So it makes a lot of sense that they would be hard to harvest their tech. But we're pretty much out here. And you know what would be really fine now? If we go here. Now you see there's no wormhole left, we're just trapped here. Ha ha, pretty funny. I <laughs> just <laughs> trapped here after we've got the little loot gone really smoothly like that. It would be very unfortunate if this wormhole just decides to just disappear. Wait, did it disappear? Please don't disappear. Oh, I see. Okay, good. I thought it was like taking a long time to get there and I felt like it was, was going to disappear because I think it has happened 
once when I was in a rattlesnake. Not when I was doing these sites, but a long time ago when I was in Nullsec, I had a rattlesnake in Nullsec and I wanted to move it back uh, to Highsec. So I used wormholes to make everything a lot faster. And I once did that. <laughs> and uh, I was trapped because one of the wormholes collapsed on the mean, on the like, when I was moving the ults on the way back. Luckily, I had. Uh, when I was when I was moving my like, ships on the on the way back to Heisek after scanning down the world was a long time ago, so what I did was I had to. Luckily, I had an alt with me, like an uh, an alpha clone alt that I logged in. I had to log out of my main account and log it back in, and then he was able to scan his way out. And then luckily, bookmark the stuff, share the book as a corp, and then I was able to get out. So. That was an encounter when I was in a rattlesnake in a wormhole, trapped before, if you guys were curious. Okay, but let's, let's see. Are there any um, concourse stations nearby? Let's see. Because I think there is one very next near Jita, Blue Loot in stock. This one right here. This is where I think that I bookmarked a place a long time ago to be able to... Uh, sell my blue loot because the blue loot can be sold in cheetah as far as I understand but the prices you get are better for um, these Concord stations maybe they are not I'm not sure let's see now what is the estimated price sleep AI 5 million so we'll get exactly 5 million if we go to the system of hit right here because we will be able to you know get the price it's the same way it works with the triglavian survey data as well that the price it actually says that it gives for you will get that money if you go and sell it at a concourse station i think i'm not sure if it's concourse station or ded station but at least for the blue loot i'll be able to sell them in this system here because i made that bookmark a long time ago so i'm very happy that we got out of that alive we survived there was no no big issue right here it all went really smoothly uh I'm just, I'm really glad. I'm really glad. <laughs> that I was a bit nervous that I was going to lose my rattlesnake, my turbo snake, but he managed to pull through. All right, the total haul is 88 million, two sites. I would say that's pretty good. I mean, we've not done this for a whole long time. What is this? Okay, we've done this for like 40 minutes almost now, but I have spent a bit of time traveling. The actual site running itself was about half an hour, so get a pretty decent amount of risk by doing these sites to be honest so for you wormhole guys probably probably are rolling in money if you can find a way to uh, farm these sites uh, very often you can see here this sleeper drone ai that was saying estimated price of five million and here someone has been selling for exactly or well, they're buying it for exactly five million so it's better than jita even though it's just a few jumps it can definitely be worth to sell it there especially if you've got a lot of stuff or like a lot of blue loot to sell though uh something i have noticed is that the stations that have these kind of markets are often camped when people go in like little frigates just think that oh i'm going to just deploy or sell my blue loot but then these little thrashes sitting out there can just snipe you off when you're trying to dock in the station so just be careful maybe go in a very tank ship when you're gonna go there that's why i'm going in the rattlesnake itself to sell the sell the blue loot i i don't want to go in a tiny little interceptor <laughs> risk getting popped losing everything that i've earned in this last like 40 50 minutes it would be very unfortunate especially even more unfortunate if you've been doing wormhole writing for like a whole week and decide to like okay then now that we finally got a wormhole in our wormhole that leads to high sec let's sell our loot and then you just lose everything in one go because you get ganked okay there we go docked up here in here someone here to sell the items here you can see here if we sell this get some good prices for our loot right here anyway um i really just cannot say how grateful i am to you guys that you've all subscribed to me and that we've hit 5,000 subscribers the next big goal will be to get 10,000 subscribers and honestly i feel like after 10,000 subscribers there's not a whole lot more to go from there because i feel like there's not enough eve players to get a whole lot bigger than 10,000 subscribers i mean it's possible definitely possible but i think it'll be very difficult to get bigger than that but i think the main goal the big goal will just be 
to get to 10k. Uh, we'll see what happens after that. All right, we'll see what happens after that. I, I, I really appreciate you guys that you've watched my videos. I'm really glad to hear that you enjoyed them. And here I am doing a little bit of a more risky activity, putting a little bit more stuff on the line uh, in celebration of 5,000 subscribers. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's become a bit of a long one, but I thought it was pretty fun. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.